everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. So today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free book review of Zora and Me, The Cursed Ground. This is a new release. At the time of filming, it's coming out tomorrow, which is September 11th. And I received an ARC copy of this book from the Library Thing Early Reviewers Program, so it was sent to me by Candlewick Press. And Zora and Me, The Cursed Ground is a historical fiction middle grade book. And it's a follow-up to the original book, Zora and Me, which I actually haven't read though that didn't impact my enjoyment of it. And this is a fictional kind of account of Zora Neale Hurston's childhood, and it's told from the perspective of her best friend, Carrie. As I said a moment ago, this is technically the second book in something that's like a series, but it doesn't really rely very much, at least I didn't think so, on the first book. I think there were a couple of vague references to things that had happened in the first book, but nothing explicit like you needed it in order to be able to read this one. This story is told in alternating timelines. So on the one hand, we have Zora and Carrie who are kind of becoming involved in this mystery because they're realizing that in their town, a man that they thought was mute can actually speak. And it's switching between that storyline and one following a girl who is, I think, like 50 years earlier enslaved. Her name was Lucia and her experience with slavery. And these alternating stories really give you a sense of the history and the culture of Zora's community. Now I'm going to talk to you quickly about what I liked about this, what I didn't like, and then I'll tell you what I gave this as far as a star rating. The thing that stood out for me consistently throughout this entire book was the depth of the themes that were being portrayed in this middle grade book. I talked about history and I, you can just really see how history influences different communities, how communities have something like a collective memory, how the past is always influencing people's present. And also the very idea of like the personal being political, like you can't exactly just separate those things. I was so impressed that the author was able to present these themes in a way that still felt accessible for middle grade readers. The writing still felt very middle grade. I'm really excited for a final copy of this book to come out so I can see like the final quotes and everything, because you can't really quote an arc because it could be revised. But there are so many moments and so many segments in this that I think are very quotable, and I want to see the finished copy. <laughs> and this book is pretty short, so my likes and dislikes will also probably be pretty short. <laughs> the main thing that I disliked wasn't even like a personal dislike, because I was fine with these concepts. I mean, not fine with them, but I could deal with them. But with this being a middle grade book, I had to keep in mind middle grade readers. And I think that even though this is pretty short, it's recommended for ages 10 to 14. I would still say on the mature side of that, because of some of the content, children should know about these things. I also just found myself thinking, gosh, I might have been a little bit emotionally wrecked reading some of these scenes as like a 10 year old. Slavery exists at least in one of the timelines in this story and its influence is still felt in the other timeline. And that was very heavy. And because slavery was such a big part of the story, violence was huge. <laughs> there are lots of threats of violence or acts of violence that I just think might be really hard for younger middle grade readers to really experience. So though I personally, as an adult, found these themes and the way that they were combined with the writing like phenomenal, I think that it still could be a bit much for actual middle grade readers and that a little bit of a balance needs to be struck. I'm not sure how exactly that could have been done, it was just something that I was considering when I was reading it myself. That yes, I am okay with reading this, but the violence might be very intense for children. If you are a parent considering this for your child, just like keep that in mind and maybe read it for yourself beforehand. However, I do think that this really would help kids to like understand history and what that actually looked like and meant for people. So it's really a personal decision for parents and children. I still really enjoyed this. I thought it was in the four to 4.5 star range for me. I ended up saying 4.25 stars, but if I had to round it one way or the other, I would probably go with 4.5, just because like I did really love this. And as I already said, I found it impressive how accessible the content was because of the writing style, even if the content was still very mature. But that is going to be it for this video. Comment down below and let me know if you have read this, though that may not be likely since it's just now coming out, or if you're interested in reading it, or if you're interested in recommending it to a child in your life, or an adult, that's also good. <laughs> Thank you for watching, hope you have a good day, and until next time.